Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba' As we've discussed uh, prior to this occasion, masturbation is haram in Islam. It's not permissible. And masturbation, especially during the holy month of Ramadan, is even more prohibited. And it is a serious sin to do so, and it breaks your fast. Something which is very important to understand, and this is in accordance with the, uh, or accordance with the uh, opinion of the Hanafiya, wa Shafi'iya, wa Hanabila, those three madhabs of the Fuqaha, that the person who uh, masturbates during the month while they're fasting, during the month of Ramadan, uh, that they must make up that day. So they must make qada. They must make up the day for having, uh, for uh, masturbating. And one of the evidences they use is the hadith of Abi Huraira, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, yukulu Allah azza wa jal, asun li wa ana ajzi bihi yid'u shahwatuhu wa akluhu wa shurbuhu min ajli. In the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he alayhi salatu wa sallam said in his hadith of Qudsi, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said that Allah the Almighty says, fasting is for me, and I reward those who leave their desires and their eating and their drinking for my sake. And the way we understand this evidence for the prohibition of masturbation is because the one who masturbates, they are acting upon their desires without any doubt about that. They're acting upon their desires. So by leaving that action, then you are within the uh, constraints of this hadith. So by not doing the, the actual opposite of that, by not restraining oneself, restraining your desires, then you are following, you are doing uh, what is implied in the hadith, which is uh, what is implicit in the hadith, the mafhum mukhalifa or the, the, the meaning which is the opposite in understanding this hadith, the understanding is that the, that you have acted upon your shahwa. So if you leave your shahwa for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning not masturbating and not doing those things which have to do with your shahwa, your desires, then you are following what you are ordered to follow. And by acting upon it, you are contradicting that. And I hope that's clear. Also, the ulama, they use as evidence the qiyas by making an analogy for the person who seeks to, uh, to vomit. That by seeking to vomit, causing yourself to vomit, you break your fast. But if you vomit unintentionally, you do not break your fast. If seeking to vomit causes you to break your fast, then how much more does seeking to ejaculate break your fast. So this is the uh, the analogy that the scholars of Islam have made there. And a very important issue with this as well is that there is no kafara, there is no other expiation for the person who masturbates. And this is accordance in accordance with the ijma, with the uh, with the uh, or sorry, and that's because there is no nus, there is no text requiring that a person expiates for this action, and the only action that is mentioned as far as making kafara for your fasting, for breaking it, meaning making this expiation, is by having sexual relations. Anything other than that that you that causes you to break your fast, then you just have to uh, make up that day that you miss. So, for example, the person who uh, masturbates today during the day of Ramadan, akramakum Allah, may Allah protect us from that and may Allah forgive those who fall into this sin. The person who does that for today, for example, they will have to, after the month of Ramadan, they will have to make up their day, make up this day that they masturbated 
uh, during. And that is because the master, by masturbating, they broke their fast, and it is a requirement that they make up this day, and they've committed a ma major sin, so they must make Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, return to Allah in uh, repentance. And I hope that this is clear, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.